Good evening, Assalamu alaikum, and welcome back, guys, to the SEA Specimen Paper Series here at the Series Results Academy. We're on number 39, the penultimate question of this mathematics paper, specimen paper 2021, which reads on the grid paper below, draw the quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides, one line of symmetry, and the straight line that joins the points A and B as its base. Okay, so we have the base A and B already drawn. So now we just have to turn this into a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides, one line of symmetry, and of course the straight line already exists there, right? The straight line that joins A and B as its base. The triangular grid that we are using here gives it away somewhat, right? You can either come right to this point and what you'll end up having is a trapezium, right? In this case, it will be an isosceles trapezium. And you will notice that there are two parallel lines. So this line on top here is parallel to the base, AB. Okay. And there will be one line of symmetry that bisects this top line as well as the line AB, right? It cuts the line AB in half as well as the line opposite to AB. And that is the only line of symmetry in the figure. And of course, it is a quadrilateral or a four-sided figure. And the base is the straight line joining the points, AB. So this is basically it. And we have a number of options, right? We don't necessarily have to go with this one. We could have made it um, even longer. We could have made it even longer. Across and down. And here you'll notice we have once again this quadrilateral with only one line of symmetry. Okay, one line of symmetry and two parallel sides or one pair of parallel sides. That is, this side and this side are parallel to each other and the straight line joining A and B as its base, all right? So this is really referred to as an isosceles trapezium because both of these legs are the same length. And we can keep making more and more of these actually. So I'll just show you one more where we'd basically be going up diagonally three and across and back down diagonally three again it's a quadrilateral two parallel sides or a pair of parallel sides one line of symmetry and the straight line joining a and b is the base of this isosceles trapezium okay guys so that's the first part of the question and the question continues Complete the drawing using the straight line that joins points A and B as a line of symmetry and describe the completed plane shape in terms of its angles, sides, and lines of symmetry. So I'm now just going to redraw the trapezium. And we are going to use the line AB now as a line of symmetry to complete the symmetrical figure. So depending on how big you made your trapezium, you would move the appropriate number or trace the appropriate number of units out here on this triangular grid. And what we have here is now a symmetrical figure and we have to describe it in terms of its angles, sides and lines of symmetry. So in terms of the angles, there are now one, two, three, four, five, six angles, six sides, and there are two lines of symmetry. Okay, remember we had that initial line of symmetry when we drew the quadrilateral. Now we have two lines of symmetry, the one that connects A and B, and this one that is vertical here. And the name of this shape is a hexagon, right? It's called a hexagon. 
which is a six-sided plane figure. All right, a six-sided plane figure. And again, in terms of its angles and sides, there are six angles and six sides and two lines of symmetry. So you just write those points down uh, in your explanation of this figure that we've created here. Six sided, six angles, two lines of symmetry. It's called a hexagon. And you will have completed this question. So not bad at all, right? So thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. And of course, be back tomorrow for the final episode in the mathematics specimen paper. Have a great evening. Salam alaikum.